Have you ever wanted to design your own digital planner? That's what we're doing today. Okay, so as we get started making our first digital planner, we are going to be using the Keynote application, which looks like this down here with the blue background. If you have an iOS device, this should be a free program. If you do not, you can sign up with an iCloud email address and use this on iCloud internet, and you should be able to use the Keynote app. So we're gonna open this and we're gonna hit create presentation and we're gonna hit white, just basic white presentation. Now you don't need all of these, so let's go ahead and delete all of these and then we want to make sure the size is right so go and click these three dots in the top right hand corner and if your apple pencil is not working you can hit this apple pencil and toggle this select and scroll on and that allows you to actually use your apple pencil to design your planner if you like to use that instead of using fingers sometimes it's easier to grab little um like tabs and stuff like that if you're using the pencil. So definitely toggle that on if your Apple Pencil is not working correctly. And then we're gonna hit document setup and we're going to hit slide size down here at the bottom. And you can do 16 by nine. Do I actually have changed my sizes up several times, but for the sake of this planner, we're just gonna do 16 by a thousand and then we're gonna hit done. And so this is basically how we're going to start our planner. Now there's a couple of things that you can do to speed up the process of making a digital planner. One of the things is to um, use master slides. So basically master slides is when you hit this plus button down here, you can actually pick one of these and make it what you want it to be. So make it a planner background, make it pages, whatever you want it to be. Um, and so then you can duplicate the pages a lot easier. So, um, for the background, the pages, and the rings, a lot of times that is a lot easier way to go than trying to redesign and copy and having elements that are mo moving around. So I could design this whole page and then I could copy and paste it how many ever times I want for the planner, but all of the elements are still gonna be moving around. So if you make a master page, it's gonna show up on every single page, but you're, you will not be able to move around the items. You can always go and edit the master slide later. So basically master slides are definitely the way to go if you're wanting to make a lot of planners and make it super easy on yourself. So that is what we are going to do. We're going to double tap and we're going to edit the master slide. And we're just going to go down here to blank and then we're going to start editing this. Okay, so we are going to add um, a shape here and we're going to start making the outside. So the front and back of our planner. I like clicking just a plain square and then dragging it out. Definitely before you get started on designing the planner, there's a few things that you definitely want to do. You need to decide what kind of planner you're making. If you want it two page or one page, if you want it portrait or landscape, and then how many different sections do you need? How many tabs do you need? If you have too many tabs, you may want to do tabs on the top and the side. Do you want Want tabs to just be on one side or do you want them to flip like an actual physical planner and start appearing on the other side as they go to each section you need to kind of think all these things out before you even get started on this part and actually even designing out the pages is a lot easier if you go ahead and just take a pen a regular pen and paper or a plain sheet on your iPad and start drawing out the boxes and stuff of what you want the pages to actually look like that'll make your design process go so much faster um, so basically we're editing a master slide we are going to do a two page open planner with rings down the center. So we need to allow space on this side because I am just going to show you basically how to do it. And then you can make yours, how many ever tabs or however you would like. So, um, we are going to make this to where we can have two of these and have room for our rings. And I want the tabs to flip from side to side. So we're going to allow some room over here on the side for our tabs. So we are going to click this and then I'm going to copy and paste this. So it'll be the exact same size and then just enough room for my rings. Okay. So you can see over here, I still have loads of room. So I'm going to cut that space, um, up about in half. And you can always just look at um, the measurements whenever you're actually designing these instead of copy and pasting over and over again, just really whatever you're in the mood to do. <laughs> okay. okay, we're gonna move this one over, allow room for our tabs, and then we're gonna move this one over to allow room for our tabs as well. And then I want a little bit of space here in the middle. So this is a 729 width. So let's bring this one to 729. Actually, I want it to be a little bit 
Let's do like 7, 23. Ah, okay. We're going to leave it like that. Okay. So then the next thing that you need is what do you want the outside cover to look like? So you can click on this and you can click on the paintbrush and you can pick a color. Or if you click fill, they have like presets that have like gradient. That's kind of neat. Um, or you can pick an image. So in this case, I have picked an image that is free to use. You can find images all over the internet, Pinterest, Google, all different places. If you're using for personal use that you can absolutely use for free. If you're wanting to resell these, you have to make sure you buy something with a commercial license or find something that doesn't require a commercial license and that's free to use for resale. But definitely check all of that. Otherwise you could get in big trouble. And as a designer, I really don't like people that copy my stuff and um, yeah, use it for free. That's just, it's not cool. So. Um, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to select image and then I'm going to select this last image here. And then to make this look a little bit more realistic, I am going to add a shadow to the background. So we're just going to hit that paintbrush again and toggle the shadow on. And then you basically just pick whatever shadow you like where it looks like it is sitting on a table or gives you, um, you know, that look. So we're going to click over on this one and we're going to add a shadow to it. If you are using a desktop or a Mac or whatever um, with Keynote, there are a few more options that you can use. Okay, I like that. I am going to move this one over just a little bit. Okay, so now we need to add our pages on top. So we're going to hit the plus and the square again, and then we're going to hit the paintbrush. And we're going to change it to white because I like the plain white page look. And then we're just going to put this kind of where it would look like in a realistic planner. To me, it seems like it's always closer to the edges over here, but then it's wider from the outside edge. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just preference. <laughs> Design it just however you like it and however you think it looks really good. And then again, you can see all those guides helping me to get it exactly the same on both sides. So um, let's go ahead and add a shadow to the back of these. Make it look a little bit more realistic. Add a shadow. And like, I don't have a set way of doing these. I just kind of design as I go every time. So let's go ahead and add our rings first. So let's hit this plus icon and then I'm going to hit photos. Now you can design your own rings. You can actually draw out and design your own rings. I actually purchased rings that I could use um, to resell. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to insert from and then I'm going to click some of the rings here. And then if you have a photo like this and you only want one set of these rings, you can go up here to this uh, paintbrush again and you can hit image and then this edit mask hit that. And then we're going to just go down to just this one set for the open book rings and hit done. And it just exited me out of the master slide because I wasn't supposed to hit done yet. <laughs> so go back to edit master slide, go back to blank. I was not supposed to hit done. I don't know why I hit done, but anyways. Okay, so here's our rings, and then um, they are too big. I don't like them this big. I don't think they look very nice, and so I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. All right. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger, and then I need them a little bit longer, so I'm going to hit copy and hit paste. And then they should be the same exact size. So I'm just going to set them right on top of each other. And if you ever have trouble like this on getting everything lined up exactly, you can always use your keyboard. If you have a keyboard, this makes it a lot easier. And then you can actually line these up exactly on top of each other by using your arrow keys. And then you can, I'm going to undo this so it's easier for you to see. Okay. Okay, so let's group these by selecting both of them. So hold down on one and then select the other. Make sure they're both highlighted and then you can position the rings where you want them and then undo. Now we want to add a little bit of a shadow. So let's go back and ungroup these so we can add a shadow and then just click on a shadow and then figure out what kind of shadow you want. Um, I like that one. Okay, so let's leave it there. 
Okay, so now you are at the point where you need to make tabs. Now, if you wanna make tabs that flip, um, you can't add them to the master slide because each page is gonna to have to be different. Um, so you basically need to figure out if you wanna add a background to this. So if we wanna do that, let's click on background. Let's just do like a dark, maybe not that dark. Let's just do a light gray. I think that looks nice. Um, you can also add a picture in the background to where it looks like it's sitting on a table, just really whatever you would like, you can add in for the background there. So basically this is gonna be the back of our, um, the back of every page of our planner. So we're gonna hit done and we're gonna hit this plus icon and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we're gonna hit our little mock-up thing that we did. And the funny part about all of this is when you start designing these and actually looking like off of the camera and on here, you realize that like, I don't really like how the shadow, like it's, it looks like it's hole punched off of the paper. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to hit edit master slide and I am going to either, and that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to move these over. So I'm going to move this background a little closer and I'm going to move this over to where it looks better. Okay. And then we're just going to hit done. I'm debating about whether I want to make smaller um, rings though. This is kind of where you get into your planner doesn't have to look perfect. Um, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and so I want um, everything to turn out perfect and so I can literally mess on planners for a very very long time. Um, let's just do this and let's um, edit this. Let me go to image and edit and then I'm just going to bring this down to where it's not overlapping the rings and that'll just be easier. Okay, so we're going to leave it like that and then we're going to hit done. And so this is going to be our background for every single page. So we're going to delete this first one because that's not a slide that we need anymore. And we have this. So now we need the cover, we need the tabs, and then we need to start designing. So to design the cover, we're going to go back to a master slide. So we're going to hit plus. We're going to go back to a blank slide is what we want. So we'll just copy it and we're just going to name it cover and hit done. And then we have another one that's called cover now. So now we just need to delete one side of this. Actually, I'm going to leave the rings on there until I get the other rings. I'm going to show you why we're going to do an insert insert from these. Okay. Now it has the rose gold ones. Okay. So we're going to hit the, um, little paintbrush and the image edit. And then we're going to get the ones that looks like where it's just the outside of the book and it's not open. And then we are going to kind of match up how many rings are on here to make sure we got these exactly the same. So that looks good. One, two, three, four, five, and we need five more rings. So let's just delete, delete, and then we're gonna put these in here. Copy, paste, and just overlap these, and then go back to image, edit, and then we were one, two, three, four, five. So let's go up to that one to make sure they're not showing wrong. Okay. And then we need another cover on top of here. I like to go ahead and add another cover on the top instead of just deleting down to this background. Cause I think these shadows just kind of show, um, and it just makes the book look a little bit thicker. So I always just add another one. So copy paste. I'm going to put this back in here where it was. And then I'm going to add this cover right on top here and then we're going to add a shadow which it does already have a shadow on there um let's do that maybe that one and then we need to arrange so we need to move this back behind our rings to where the rings are going into the book like that perfect okay i don't know why there's a y in the middle of my screen here I guess I typed a Y at some point. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So basically we can leave this book like this. It looks super cute. You can add another, um, like a rounded corner thing here and we can name the book. Um, we can make this white to where people could do their own name. So sometimes I like to go to like style 
and then go to fill and make this white but then go back to like the border turn the border on and then change the style of the border and you can do like these really cool paint looking ones and then you can make it thicker to where you can see the paint lines but it's like not going all the way um over so it kind of gives it a cool effect you can change the color of your border and you can hit color down here and then if you swipe over you can click on this little dropper tool and you can actually match up with a color that's on here so if you like the yellow or the green you can make it whatever color and people can just title their book or you know you could do a circle or you know it doesn't have to be as traditional as just the rectangle look but super super cute and then now we need to add our um tabs but the tabs i always do last so um i first make how many pages that i need and all that good stuff before i go into the tab so we're going to hit done because we are done with the master slides for right now um, we're going to hit this plus button here and we're going to add our cover so we're going to click on the cover hold down and rearrange this move it to the top okay so that's going to come first and then it's going to open our book okay so we are doing good. We're almost there. Okay. So the next part is, um, start designing your pages or you can start adding the tabs to kind of see what it looks like, whichever way you want to do it. I always add my tabs in last because I use a copy and paste and I just think it's so much easier. Um, but since I'm not actually designing a whole planner for you guys, um, I can go ahead and show you what I normally do. We'll had the we'll hit the plus icon and then I like making the rounded corner tabs. Um, so we are going to make these. You don't want to make these super super big because they're clickable. So if you make other things clickable on this paper, you may have trouble with another um, icon being linked to something. So you don't want to make these super thick. Okay, so first you're going to make your tab. So we have a rounded corner here. And then we are going to um, add a shadow. So hit style, shadow, and then kind of pick the way you want your tab to be. I think I like that one. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this and I want to change the color of this. So I'm going to add my cover photo right here on top for just a second. And I'm gonna show you how to change the colors here. So I'm gonna hit color, slide over, hit the uh, dropper tool, and then I'm gonna hit this yellow or tan color. And then I am going to copy and paste and move it down here. And then I want to make sure this is behind our other tab. So see how it went behind it? Okay, so that's where I want this one just slightly behind it and then I'm going to change the color of this one. So style, fill, and go to the dropper tool and let's do the pink-ish color next. And hold down and select with the other finger and copy and paste. And then I want these behind those tabs as well. So arrange and then put them behind that. And then I'm going to just keep doing two, three, four, copy, paste. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have eight tabs. And don't worry if these are not perfect. I will show you how to make them perfect. So you want basically the top one to be at the top of the white page and this one at the bottom of this page. Select and then we are going to align and distribute. So we are going to um, make these all even as far as vertically. So we're going to hit that and then it's going to evenly space them out and then we are going to align them. So we want them aligned like this this third one where they're sitting um, sideways like that. Okay, for some reason, some of these ended up bigger than the other ones and I'm not really for sure why. I just messed up whenever I was making them. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna move all of these to the back. And then once you have them aligned, then I'm just going to click and hit style um, and fill, and then just the color dropper just over and over again until you get everything colored the way that you like. So these are our tabs. We can go ahead and delete this and we are ready to go with this. So now we need enough pages for all these tabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because they, we want them to go to eight different pages. We want the pages to flip as well. Now you may be wondering why I haven't put this behind this piece of paper here. Well, that's because you cannot because that is um, on the master slide and you cannot do that unless you put these tabs on the master slide but if you had the tabs on the master slide you can't make them flip so it's just kind of one thing after another trying to figure out the best way to do these so what I like to do is just add um, another one of these and change the style make it a white background and then I can just make this come right here to the side and then cover up just a little bit of these tabs, but not to where it comes edge to edge with my planner below. So about right there. And if you need to save room for you to write, you know, on your tab. So I think that I like them there, but if you wanted to move them over, you can always just select and group move them over to where you have like them mm. I don't know where I had them at but anyways um, I'm going to ungroup and then I am going to copy and then I'm going to paste and it's going to look crazy here for just a minute but give me just a minute and I will show you what I'm doing so I'm going to add them over on this side right there I'm going to copy this page and paste it and cover up like so okay so now we have our tabs on both sides and you wonder okay why do I have tabs on both sides and I'm just gonna say this right now that the, that the shadow looks really really funky on these so <laughs> I'm gonna highlight all these I'm gonna change the shadow I don't really like the shadow I like that a lot better okay so so see, it's it's not that hard to make changes at the beginning. Later on, not so much, but at the beginning, it's not that hard. Okay, I think I like the looks of that better. Okay, so now we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tabs. So we're gonna hit this plus button and we're going to hit a blank page. And this is what we wanna start with. And we have one page already, so that's two. We're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, excuse my children. <laughs> okay. So now you want to go back here. You're going to click on the first one. You're going to click on link, link to slide, and we are going to hit on slide number two. And then you're going to go down to the next one and you're going to hit link and we're going to hit slide number three and so on. <laughs> Okay, so now that's linked to all of our things. You can link these over here, or you could select these all and copy and paste them and move them back over here. I am just going to link them really quick. Okay, so where we're at now is we've got everything linked up and we want to put these links on every page. So we are going to select each one of these links. Ah, this, this is one of the hardest parts, especially this is when a computer becomes a lot easier to use. So and we're going to select this page, keep holding down and we're going to select this side as well. Now I would already have labeled these. So if you're going to label your tabs, do it now because you can do all of this in the same process, but I'm not going to label them for this video. So we're just going to click on here and we're going to paste on every page. So it'll paste in exactly 
the right spot. So we just have to go through and hit paste on every page. And then on this first page, you want the first tab to be over here, but you do not need the rest of these tabs. So you're just going to select all of these and hit delete. And you're going to delete the top one up here. You're going to go to the next one. You want the first two hit delete. And then we're going to delete the first two over here. Okay. And then you just go so on. Okay, so now whenever we flip the pages, it's going to go from side to side. And you can see on this one is messed up. I accidentally deleted that. So let's go back to that and hit paste and we could put another one on there. Okay, so now all of them are linked up showing the tabs flipping from side to side. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. You've got your cover, you've got your pages with all of your tabs, and now you can actually design what you want on each tab. So if we start on the first one and we're wanting to make a calendar, you're gonna hit the table, so you're gonna hit plus, and then hit this table icon, and then hit just like a blank, blank one with no extra thick lines or whatever. And then you're just going to move these, um, let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I counted Sunday twice, but I like doing four. So it's actually sized pretty, pretty good. Um, I want six weeks because some weeks, um, some months there needs to be six weeks. And then I like to add one more for my header to be able to put Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and so on. And then if you want them to all be this side, we're going to click all of these and click on row size. And this is going to be the height. So we want to bring the height way down. And this is an easy way to get everything to match the right size. So we're going to leave that like that. We're going to go ahead and change this one. We're going to make it a little bit taller. And then now that everything's the same size, we can adjust this to where we can actually put something up here that says January. So we can go add some text, double click and type in January. And then we're going to drag this up to the top. And of course you can change it to, um, really pretty font, change the font to whatever you want it to be. Um, and so on. So just whatever you want it to be really elegant. And then let's make this a little bit bigger. And you can change the color of it if you want it to be a different color. It's actually text color, color, and just do this dropper thing. And let's just make it the light blue. That looks good. And then we want to copy, no, paste. There we go. Okay, so you paste the same thing over here get it all lined up the way that you want it. So like this can be a note section. So you can highlight all of this and you can just merge them and then you could just type in notes there and then you could just double click on these. Okay, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday notes. Okay. And then now I want to change the font of this. So I'm going to highlight all of this. We're going to make these smaller. We're going to change. You can change the text color. You can change the text. There is really just a lot of stuff that you can do um, and make it your own. So we are going to click on this row and we're going to change the size, I can't remember what size I made that one over there. And then change that. 
let's see, 19. Okay, I think I made this 18. So let's highlight this again, make it 19. Okay, so that's basically how you make a template. So you just have to decide what you want your templates to look like and you can make a template that easy. And then you can, um, if you wanna add the numbers, you double click and you hit one, two, three, four. Of course, you need to look this up and make sure the month is laid out like this. <laughs> Uh, five, six, seven, and you would just do your whole calendar like that. And then at the very end, you can highlight everything, change it to a smaller font. You can move it um, left hand or right hand and then move it up to the corner and voila. And you can highlight all of that and then highlight all that and you're done. Once you have it, then you can just copy this, paste it on this page. Actually, let's just copy this. Actually, let's hit this and hit this and copy and then just paste it on this page. And it's going to paste in the exact same spot so you don't have to worry about it lining up. And then we're going to type in February. And then um, if you need to change these to where it is um, starting on Tuesday, you just move these over and it's automatically going to um, type everything in the right size and everything because you had it um, already set to that. So then it's super easy to redo your numbers. Let me go back to this real quick because we forgot to put our tabs on the front page. I need to choose all of these. Copy. And then we need to double click edit master slide and paste. And then we just need to arrange these and move them back behind that front cover. And then let's go ahead and copy this yellow because that's the one that we're missing. Paste, move it right up here, arrange, move to the back, and then change the link on this one because it's linked to the wrong page. We need it linked to page two. Okay, and then whenever you're done, hit the three dots, hit export as a PDF, and then export again. And then it's going to bring you up to open in GoodNotes. You can choose where you want to open your document. I'm going to open in GoodNotes, import as new document, and here you go. And then you can see your tabs work and everything flips to the other page and it is beautiful. So that is how you make a digital planner using Keynote with your iPad and your pencil. I hope this video was very informative for you. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's something else that you would like to see. And um, I will catch you on the next one. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button. That helps us out so much. And we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.